midnight dreary. I never thought anything could be worse than living with a dysfunctional family. But that was before my sister, Emily, turned into a Lovecraftian slime beast. It started as an ordinary day. Emily and I were at home, watching TV. Our parents were out of town for a conference, so we were left to fend for ourselves. Emily was always the quiet one in the family, and that day was no exception. She was sitting next to me, staring at the screen with her blank, unemotional expression. But then something strange happened. Emily's body began to twitch, and her eyes started glowing a sickly orange. Then there were multiple glowing eyes popping up all over her face. I was terrified and tried to run away, but she was too quick. She grabbed me with her slimy tentacles, and I felt the cold, wetness enveloping my body. I screamed in horror but it was too late. I was trapped in her embrace, and there was nothing I could do to escape. I was stuck for what felt like hours, but it was only a few minutes before she finally released me. I looked up at her, terrified and confused. She was no longer my sister. She was something else entirely. A creature that I couldn't even begin to comprehend. Over the next few weeks, Emily's transformation into a Lovecraftian slime beast progressed rapidly. Her body became covered in a slick, almost black, dark purple slime that oozed out of her pores and matched the color of her lower extremities. The rest of her human parts, if you can still call them that, were a pale blue. Her eyes were replaced with two large, unblinking orbs that never seemed to focus on anything, though it was slightly less unsettling now that she had learned to control how many eyes and limbs spontaneously sprouted from her body. Her limbs would randomly begin to elongate and twist into strange, unnatural shapes like she had no bones. I was terrified of her, but at the same time, I couldn't bring myself to leave her alone. She was still my sister, after all. I tried to keep her hidden from the rest of the world, but it was getting harder and harder to do so. Emily's new form, even when she could keep it mostly human, was attracting too much attention. One day, a group of boys from our school found out about Emily's transformation. They thought it was some kind of prank or special effects trick, so they came to our house to see for themselves. I tried to stop them, but they were determined to see the monster for themselves. Emily was hiding in the basement when the boys arrived. I tried to explain to them that it was just my sister, but they didn't believe me. They forced their way into the basement, and that's when everything went horribly wrong. Emily panicked when she saw the boys, and her tentacles lashed out in every direction. They grabbed onto the boys, pulling them closer and closer to her slimy body. The boys screamed in terror, but it was no use. Emily was too powerful, and she didn't stop until they were all dead. I was horrified by what had happened. I didn't know what to do. My sister had just killed a group of innocent boys, and there was nothing I could do to stop her. But then something strange happened. Emily's body began to shift and contort again. This time, however, it wasn't a transformation. It was a regression. Emily's body began to shrink, and her tentacles receded back into her body. Her slime disappeared, and her eyes returned to their normal, human form. When it was all over, she was just my sister again. She had finally gotten her changes under control. She looked up at me, tears streaming down her face. I didn't mean to do it, she whispered. I just wanted to be loved. Lovecrafty and slime beasts can't give good hugs, only bad ones, deadly ones. I didn't know what to say. I was still in shock over what had happened. But then I realized something. Despite everything that had happened, I still loved my sister. And maybe, just maybe, that was enough. Now what the hell am I going to do with all these dead bodies? Ha! Bad hugs. <laughs>